beautiful, breathtaking, stunning, and scenic are all words visitors might typically use to describe Seattle. But not always. Jeremy. <laughs> not in the brick alleyway beneath Pike Place Market. Unclean. Not in this spot. Messy. Where the walls are covered in saliva and sugar. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a little filthy down here. A sticky and yes, icky attraction. And we're putting our hands in our mouths. <laughs> that also happens to be one of the city's most popular. I really don't know why it's such a fascination, but I think it's cool. The BX for the Bronx. I'll be the B. I'll be X. The Clayman family came all the way from New York just to see it. This was the thing that the kids were most excited about. We had to see the gum wall. Look, mom and dad told them, but don't touch. The big goal today was trying to uh, keep the kids from planting their faces on it or eating any of it. That was the big goal. And that's no easy feat. Oh. When the other big goal for anyone who comes here is to add your own gob of gum. Yeah, that one's stuck. To this colorful canvas. I didn't feel good. It feels like I need to go wash my hand, definitely. It's a tradition that began in the early 90s among people waiting in line to get tickets to market theater. Amy, did you put yours? And over the years, the gum wall just sort of stuck around. I like it. Kind of gives like a little bit of culture to Seattle, so it's kind of cool. A work of art to some, while others work to understand the draw. When I look at it, I think of germs. And for the claimants. There's our B, now we need an X. A chance to leave their mark. Uh, right there. In the Northwest. There we go. BX, Bronx, representing in Seattle. Heather Graff. That wall is crazy. King 5 News. You can definitely feel the weight behind you. Right along with Brandon Price. Oh, yeah. You learn a few things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm a 14-year-old trapped in a 42-year-old body. Yeah, there's that. You also learn he's engaged. No wedding date yet. There's a good reaction right there. You'll learn he's been in the doghouse with his fiance. True? He says that, no. Depends who you ask, I guess. Ask Brandon what makes him happy. Yeah, the fiance, of course. Oh, right, that part, yeah. It's also this. He loves to see people's reactions as he drives by. They'll give us a big thumbs up. The thumbs up is for what's on his trailer. No, that's not a boat back there that just turned the corner. It's Brandon Price's obsession. And that's what you do in life when you have a passion. You build something with your hands. This. What is this? Definitely a labor of love. Okay, here we go. Let's answer the who, what, where, when, why questions. It's the why question I want the answer to. Of all things, why this? Why not? Why not devote six months of your life, 10 hours a day, building an aircraft carrier miniature? What do you think of this, bud? Cool. You give me a big thumbs up? So this is the what? Yeah, it's awesome. I would like to go and see a real, real one now. An aircraft carrier modeled after the USS Nimitz, by the way. What's that? Where? Right here? Mm -hmm. That's the control tower. So where did he build it? In his storage unit in Yelm. When? Nine years ago. How big is it? 21 feet uh, from bow to stern and eight and a half, nine feet wide at the at the width. What do grown men do when they see it? Oh, mayday. This. Look out. Heads up. Wow. All right. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> it kickstarts the imagination. Hey, that was a good shot. <laughs> That was so cool. <laughs> That's the hard part, is landing short enough that you can stop on it. Who helped him build it? His buddies. What's the best thing about this? <laughs> Why was he in the doghouse? I didn't feel she needed the VCR anymore, so we took that apart. You'd be in the doghouse too. Those bobbins were my grandmother's. If you stole from your fiance. Those are bobbins off of a sewing machine. Just to make the aircraft look more realistic. I stole some of her necklaces and cut them all up. She was real happy with me when I did that. You go to your jewelry box and right. some things aren't there. Right. Spent plenty of days in the doghouse, slept on the couch. You did what to my what? All is forgiven. <laughs> How much do you love this? Pretty much the only thing I love more is my fiance. And I, I'm only saying that like that because she's standing right there. Uh-oh, doghouse again? Nah, he's a good. Good guy. Yeah, good guy who just got a new job that will take them to Minnesota. Not all of them. It's gonna be very hard to part with. Brandon's looking for the right person to donate his second love to. I love you, darling. <laughs> Today, there were no takers. My wife would kill me. Who knows, maybe tomorrow you'll have better luck. I don't have time for something like this. The hopes is, is that we'll, we'll find that right person to donate it to 
before I leave town. Uh, you know, but time time's ticking. I think we answered all the questions we had answers to. You know, the who, what, where, when, and why. I'll call her, but you got to ask her, okay? She probably like it from you better than me. John Sharifi, King Five News. When I left my house for a walk around Green Lake, I was definitely not thinking of revealing any personal secrets. Think of a story. Once in church, I pooped. <laughs> oh. A story you know. I like girls and guys. And no one else knows. I'm scared to death that I will not be a good enough help dad for my four kids. I talk a big game, but rarely do I deliver. Now imagine taking that story. I want to read this one. And sharing it for all to see. I crave love, but do everything in my power to ruin it. This new board popping up at popular places in Seattle gives everyone the chance. Some of them are. To open up. Wow. Getting a little confession off your shoulders makes you feel pretty good. Once you're done writing, you put your confession in the box. I definitely don't want to be here when it's red. <laughs> and someone else posts your secret. There's funny ones, there's really deep ones, there's really sad ones. I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. <laughs> like this one says I'm terrified of getting old. Oh my God, these are so sad. Who did this? It's a creative concept sparked by a simple idea. We just want to connect the world emotionally. And it all started in this home near the University of Washington. This reminds me of my days working back at the elementary school. Every week, Samuel McDonald spent some time cutting confession cards. My cutting skills are a little subpar at the moment. McDonald and his friends are the brains behind this creation called Sandri. The definition of it is the realization that each passerby and stranger is a life that's just as interesting as and complex as your own. Everybody has something on their chest. So to prove their point, co-founder Anthony Jacob Bellas. It's a fantastic idea. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> took a big board. It does provide some healing. And gave people a place to speak their mind. I'm not afraid to die, but I'm afraid to live. I don't think I'll ever be faithful to anyone. I confess to not always practice what I preach and to not always accept myself the way I do other people. May we all experience peace. Oh, this is a good one. I survived a few times of suicidal attempts in DV. Now I remind myself every day how beautiful it is to be alive. Oh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. I'm scared I'm never going to be able to show someone all of myself. That's a good one. If we weren't doing this and, and Sandri wasn't available to people, a lot of those stories would, would go untold. It brings people together. Joanna Dodge was one of many who wasn't about to tell us what she wrote. I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> but she still had a lot to say. It's so freeing to take something that you never thought that you could tell anybody and actually tell everybody without anybody really knowing that it's you. People need a place like this. I can relate to this one. <laughs> It's not mine, but I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit three pedestrians with my car. Oops. I'm 18 and have slept with over 50 people. I don't know if she's bragging or not. There are several reasons thousands visit Green Lake every day. It makes me feel good because I feel like I'm not alone. My best friend is marrying someone I hate. This usually is not one of them. I slept with my girlfriend's mom. It's something that happens. <laughs> but boy, do these people have a story. I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> worth sharing. The fact that you could put it down there and then run away. In Seattle. <laughs> Alex Rozier. Escape your, your confession is kind of nice. King 5 News. Which is rare.